Hi there. My name is Hannah Beam, and this is the last day of the Hutchinson Art Center's virtual online art camp. So, we've been talking about how art is displayed, who helps display art, and today we're talking about where art is displayed to kind of wrap things up. So, art can be displayed in homes, at schools, in public places, as you learned when we did our community public art project with the chalk. It can be displayed in all sorts of places, indoors and outdoors. It can be displayed in professional formal places like galleries and museums and art centers, like at the Hutchinson Art Center. As you may remember, the Hutchinson Art Center is having the youth art show for Anyone ages in kindergarten through 12th grade, you can submit your art by the 24th, which I think will be tomorrow. And you can submit anything that you made during the art camp or anything like that, but you can have your art displayed at the Hutchinson Art Center because that's a place where art is displayed. Our project today focuses on that as well. We're gonna be working on a piece that you can use as part of a collaborative piece in the art show at the Hutchinson Art Center. So what we're making are these little tiles and everyone will make a tile and we'll put all these tiles together and make a piece that goes all together. So we have a template for you that you can find in the link. You can find a link to it in the description of the video. Um, but this way your tile will make sure that it will be the same size as all the other tiles so that they all fit together really nicely. And I'm gonna show you how to use this template today to make your tile. So the first thing that you need to do is cut off this bottom piece that has the instructions on it. You can just cut right on that dotted line. Right, And then what you'll do is you'll trace this outside square onto a background piece of paper. So you can use whatever paper you want for this. If you want to use something really sturdy like cardstock, you can use cardstock. Or if you want to use a pretty color, you can use a colorful paper. I have this nice colorful paper, so I'm just going to kind of line this up here. I have my pencil. And I will trace around here and then I have this corner already so I'll just cut out this other side of it here all right so there's my background piece. And so now I'm gonna need to get the circle piece. So for this piece, if you wanna cut out the circle and then um, trace it onto your paper, you can do that. Or I'll show you another thing, another way you can use it. So again, you can either go ahead and cut this out and then put it on here and trace it. Or what I like to do is I will just hold this onto here. You could also put a little bit of glue to make sure that it doesn't move around. You could glue these um, corners here that aren't gonna be part of the circle that you need if you want, but I'll just hold it and that usually works good for me. And then I'll cut them both out at the same time. So then I only have to cut out the circle once. So, yeah, it's a little bit tricky because you gotta make sure that it doesn't move. So that's where gluing these corners could really come in handy. All right, 
So there I have my circle. So as you can see, this is a full circle, but I have four quarters of each circle on the corners of my paper. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna to get to there. So the first thing to do is fold your circles in half both ways. And that'll give you this crosshair kind of guideline. And you can see that your circle is split into four different quadrants, kind of like a pie or a pizza. So um, from here, I like to decorate my circle before I cut it, which is what I did on my example here. So for decorating your circle, what we're working with is something called radial symmetry, which basically just means that every section of our circle is going to match. Because it's a circle, that's where radial comes in, and symmetry means that it's the same or that it matches. Um, so you see here that each corner has the same design on it, and that's kind of where that radial symmetry comes in. So um, to decorate your circle, you can use any media that you've tried during this art camp or just anything that you've used or have at home, have supplies for. Um, you can use colored pencils or crayons, markers. Um, you can glue little beads onto it or little pom-poms. You could even make shapes out of the model magic like we've done in the past with some of the projects and, and put those pieces on here too. Um, there's oil pastels, of course, um, pencil. There's even, you could use watercolors on it too, if you wanted to. You could trace your circle onto some, some thicker like watercolor paper and, and do watercolor on here if you wanted, if you really enjoyed painting. So whatever media you use, you could also of course do mixed media or of course paper collage, cutting out shapes to put on here. Whatever you wanna do, um, whatever media you wanna use, you can do that. Um, so I'm going to pick, um, let's do colored pencils this time. I haven't done a lot of with colored pencils. So let's see, what do I want to, how do I want to start? I think I'm going to start by putting some circles on here. These are kind of hard to see, so I might switch to oil pastels. So there's some circles. Let's see if I can see this yellow any better. Or I'm gonna put some triangles. Kind of mimicking that shape. So you'll notice that whatever I do in one section, I repeat in all four sections so that they all match. And I'm gonna put some lines around the outside edge. Okay, this is kind of starting to look like a pizza. I've kind of got like little pepperonis even, kind of got some cheese going on. So you could make it look like a pizza if you wanted to. It can be whatever. This one's just kind of random. However you want your circle to look however you want to decorate it. Okay. Go back over. original circles.
Wiz definitely needs to get some glue in here. One of the things I really like about colored pencils is how you can kind of layer them and get different depths with the colors. So I think I have all I want to do with my colored pencils, but I'm going to add a little bit more with oil pastels too because I think the oil pastels will really make it pop. You could do this with crayons or anything too. Just kind of add some pizzazz. There, I think that yellow definitely made it pop. I'm also going to use this kind of lighter pink to kind of make it tie in with my background color a little bit better. Let's see, where should I put it? Maybe like... I think that looks like a really nice design. And you could keep going with your design and make it as detailed as you want to, or as simple as you want to. But whenever you're done decorating your design, again, you can use any media that you like if you make this at home. Um, so now I'm gonna flip it over to the other side because I can still see those lines where I folded it. And I'm going to cut along those lines. So kind of get to where I can see it better. If we need to kind of refold it again to see those lines better, you can. There. All right, so now I have my four pieces and they still do kind of look like pizza to me, which I think is fun. Um, so now we're gonna glue them onto our background piece here. So again, always when you're gluing, make sure you have a table cover or a piece of paper behind it. Get this covered, really make sure to get those edges good. Get a little in the middle. And I'm gonna line this up with the edges of my background piece. Get that glued on there good.
And we have our finished tile. So make sure you get the lid back on the glue. When you're done with your tile, if you want people to know who made it, make sure that you put your name on it somewhere. So I'll put my name, I'll put my initials on it here. There we go. And so now I can take my piece to the Hutchinson Art Center and we they will put it in the with the collaborative piece that has all the tiles that will go together kind of like this and be all together tiled up so if you don't get a chance to finish this project at home before the submission deadline of the 24th you we will have pieces and materials available at the art center so that you can come here and make a piece to put in to the collaborative, put in with the collaborative piece if you happen to miss the deadline. So the show goes from April 30th until May 16th, and during that time, you can come and make a piece to put into the collaborative piece. The piece that you put into the collaborative piece stays as a part of the collaborative piece, which means that you won't get that little piece back. If you enter an art piece by the 24th, if you're in kindergarten through 12th grade into the rest of the uh, youth art show, that you will get back. But if you participate in the collaborative piece, that will stay as part of the collaborative piece. So all the whole collaboration can stay together. Collaboration just means a piece that people made together. So I hope you have fun making a tile. And I hope to see your art on display at the youth art show at the Hutchinson Art Center. I've had so much fun being your instructor. I hope you have fun creating today.